I think people really underestimate how much time running actually takes up. Um, I do do other stuff like I, you know, hang out with my friends, do schoolwork, run, I'm the class president. I have enjoyed being class president the past four years. That's why I keep doing it. Um, I really like uh, connecting with everybody in the class and, um, you know, making relationships with people and I love my other officers. So, yep, for sure. He, he knows what to say uh, pretty much all the time. Like, even if you have a bad race or something, he'll always pick you up. But like, um, it's like, takes up so much time. Um, and between that and like other things that go into running, so there's like, I have to sleep, I sleep so much. I eat a lot, like a lot of all that stuff. I think about running, like all that stuff goes into being a runner. So um, really just to be a good a good team player. Um, I think that's always been my biggest thing and that's um, kind of what I always focus on and you know, relay races, especially in cross country. I love the people. I mean, you make such awesome bonds with the people on the team because you just see them every single day. Um, I think something awesome is for underclassmen, they get to become really good friends with upperclassmen and me now that I'm an upperclassman, I love making friends with the underclassmen. Remember that was something I always appreciated. He, he doesn't get in his head at all and he's always ready to go again. So, Alec has been such an awesome leader. He's so just like personable, You can he's so easy to talk to. He's awesome, he's just fun to be around. So I think being class president has affected my leadership role on the team. Just it, it really kind of prepared me to be captain. Um, I think it, it's given me a lot of practice with like public speaking and um, generally like um, designating people to like do different things. And um, um, I think as now as a captain, it really helps me lead the team. I mean, there will be times when like DeSantis won't be at practice, or one of our coaches won't be at practice, and. Um, um, he just trusts me to lead the team and you know have them do what they need to do for the day. Um, Alex Grun is both a person and as an athlete uh, since I probably first met him when he was uh, probably only a seventh grader in middle school. He embodies uh, everything that I want our runners to represent with all his hard work and his dedication to the sport. Um, and as a person, he's always been a great, uh, a great teammate, obviously a great leader, uh, even in the classroom, a great student. Um, I really can't ask for more from him. I guess, I mean, I'll, I'll put together Alex training over the summer and he was probably running between 50 and 60 miles a week. But Alec, Alec doesn't even honestly need a coach. He just he just goes out and does what he needs to do. So um, I hope that he can just continue to improve and become better as an athlete, as a student, and as a person. Um, specifically, I think he should be able to work his way into their, onto their varsity, their top seven cross country team, hopefully by the time he's a sophomore or a junior. I pretty much narrowed it down to a few schools and then they asked me to come on a recruiting visit where I actually got to go run with the team and sleep over with the team and meet some of the guys and that was pretty much how I settled on Middlebury College because I just loved the team there. Uh, yesterday was a great meet for me. I actually PR'd in two events. So um, the I only ran two events but I ran the mile, I ran a 433 and then I ran the 800 which is half mile um, in 207. Um, that was after my mile, so I wasn't even fresh, and that was very exciting. Um, Happy, very excited. Um, I, it's kind of surreal right now. I was really kind of um, excited for the team in general, so it was kind of like, wasn't really thinking that much about myself, my own PR, but it's very exciting. It really feels good as a runner to put in so much work to try and, you know, get these PRs when you finally get it, and it feels very, I don't know, surreal. If he has a bad race, he's easy to pick himself up. He, he doesn't get in his head at all and he's always ready to go again, so. And I find that when you, I get injured, it is really like just a whole like half of my life just completely gone. It, I feel super lazy, get really unproductive. Uh, a lot of people who are non-runners like don't understand like why you like running. I think a big piece of it for me is that it's very like meditative. Like you kind of um, don't have to think about much while you're running, you just kind of like are like in you're just like in a void sort of while you run through and you see what's going on around you. I'll definitely miss you, Alec.